We're here with Victor Perez, a uh, level men's golfer who just won the Aggie Invitational on Saturday and Sunday, shooting a three under par and had a four stroke victory. Victor, it was your first collegiate victory. How did it feel? It's it's awesome. It's it's crazy. I mean, as I told we coach a couple of times, we don't win that much in golf. If we win once a year, it's big. And having the chance to win my freshman year, it's it's really cool. Uh, you being a freshman too, I, I heard you say that you know you just expected to play in a couple of tournaments and hope to do well. Yeah. How surprised are you that not only you've played in every tournament for yeah, the Lobos yeah, this year, yeah. but you actually got a win now? Yeah, it went it went fast. I mean, as I like already told you, like I didn't play that many tournaments. I, I didn't expect to play that many tournaments, and all of a sudden I play every tournament, playing the lineup. I never played as an individual, and now it comes to win. I mean, I had a couple of top tens. That was already great. I was really <laughs> happy with that. And when co I went on a tournament on eight, which was my 17th hole, the last day, coach told me you have a three-shot lead. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. And I just and I just ended up and but it went it went it was crazy. It went fast and that was that was a great moment. Now now take me through that that final day, that final round too. I mean, you, you start the day tied for second. You're one sh shot off. Did you even think about the fact that uh, you had a shot to win the tournament, or were you just trying to play your game, or how did you approach that last day? I didn't even know I was tied for second. I was <laughs> I just finished the first day even par, and I knew it was good because the guy who played with me didn't play very well, and I knew everyone was kind of struggling. But I had no idea the standing. I didn't know I was second, and I don't really like to put pressure on my, I mean, that's even more pressure if you like go on golf stat, you check, you're second, you <laughs> see, oh, if I make double on the first hole, all of a sudden I'm 10th, and if I make birdie, I'm first. You don't, you don't, you don't want that. You just want to go out there and play your game and do your best, and I just got out there last day, try to do, I knew that if I was shooting on the part, it would be a great round, even if it was less win. Starts off pretty good, got a couple birdies to start, and then I made a bad bogey on 18, who was my ninth hole of the day. And all of a sudden, I had a couple good breaks on the back nine, ended up making a couple birdies. Even, I mean, the last bogey and the last hole didn't really change any, everything, but it wasn't really like, done by it. Mm -hmm. But it was, it, was, it was so crazy when I think about it now. I mean, just being one shot off the lead after the second round and starting off pretty well and didn't even know on 17 that I had a three-shot lead. <laughs> I was just playing my game, being aggressive as I was all week, and it ended up being good for me. Uh, what did uh, Coach Glenn Middleton tell you after you? Well, did he say anything to you before the round, or did it, and what did he say after the round after you won? He just he just told me great job. I mean, I think it was. I don't know what else can you say to me <laughs> after that except like good job. He was probably a little mad because the team didn't do very good. I think this is the main thing of it. You want the team to do. I mean, even if golf is an individual sport. We play as a team, and when the team doesn't do good, the mood of the team is not like really <laughs> nice and stuff. So <laughs> my win kind of pop everything up, but I mean the team didn't do very good. So and that's what I was going to ask you, Victor. I mean I know you won. It was the first time the team though didn't finish in the top five in yeah. the tournament this year. Did that put a little bit of a damper on your win? I don't think so. I mean we would rather have this bad tournament right now than a conference. So that was our bad moment. That was our bad time and. It happens to everyone. As I said, the team played well. Everybody's playing great, and we'll, we'll just look forward to do well at conference. I think we can have a good good chance to win. And not only did you win this tournament, but I think there were eight players in the top 50 and uh, 15 in the top 100. How much confidence does that give you going forward now that you can compete on this level and, and win a tournament? I think it's it all it all comes to step. That's one of the main things we've worked with my coach is you win small tournaments, then you win the big tournaments back home. Then you try to win a big tournament in Europe, and then I show up here in the U.S. and playing college golf, have a couple top tens. That was the first step, and then winning a tournament, who was a great tournament. That's the second step, and now, what else can happen? <laughs> and it was great. There were some great players. Texas was here. Uh, Dylan Fratelli was playing. Is an awesome player. I played with him in UT tournament, and it just impressed me through the day. He just played great round, won the tournament. I mean, tied for one, but won. And that gave me a lot of confidence. You realize how much these players, even if their standing is better than you, are just, are just people that have two arms and two legs and they just play golf, <laughs> as you do. So it's, it's a big boost of confidence going to conference. And now you're from Simiac, France, which is a long way from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. Can you just tell a little bit about how you came to come to University of New Mexico for school? Um, 
when I made my visit last year, actually two years ago, yeah, two years ago, it was, I mean, I saw the team was good, the school is good, so that was, that was part of it. I saw the great facility. We have some awesome facility at house course uh, by the airport when we can do pretty much whatever we want to practice. And the school is good. Uh, I'm in biology major, so this requires a little bit of work, <laughs> even if it's not too much because of my freshman year. But um, no, it's, it's a great deal. Did you know any of the coaching staff before you came here, or did they just contact you? How did they, how did it get that you? How did you hear about New Mexico? Uh, in my junior year of high school, I sent twenty five dossier uh, of me about uh, like personal experience, golf, school, and everything. I sent out all over the U.S. and I had a quick answer for U and M, and they got really interest, uh, interested in me. And so we set up the visit, and I had a great feeling with the coach. I think this is one of the most important things. You want to have a good feeling with your coach. You want the coach to trust you and to know exactly who you are. And I had this great feeling right, right, right away, and that was really part of my choice. I mean, I can thank Coach Milliken and Coach Cotan for that because they do a great job with us. Now let's look ahead a little bit. You've got the Mountain West Tournament coming up. When you prepare for a tournament like that, uh, is, do you change your approach at all, the way you prepare for a normal tournament? I, and I kind of compare it to maybe a professional preparing for a major. Is there any different preparation that you go through because it's a Mountain West tournament? Not really. I mean, I have my practice session depending on the day. I have like a short game practice, a putting practice, uh, like long game and then playing. I just go through my routine. This, I think this is one of the main things when you like play college golf. You just want to have a routine and just stay on, on this rhythm overall. So I'm, I think I'm just going to do the same thing this week, even if we get close to finals week. So there's a little bit of homework. Hmm. There's a little bit more homework and stuff. But I think I'm just going to stay on that and just get really the same way as I did for the Haggis tournament. And uh, how do you feel about your team's chances of winning the Mountain West? I think we have a good chance. I mean, um, UNLV is a great team. They're ranked third in the country, third or fourth. Uh, San Diego State is in front of us, too. So there's some good team. TCU is there. There's there's a bunch of good team, but I mean the team is playing well. It's 54 holes. We have a, we ha I mean we definitely have a chance to win. I don't know how we'll end up, but I mean the team is playing good as I said. So I mean why not? <laughs> we have we have all the chance to win. I know Coach Milligan wants it. So <laughs> and plus, like you said, you you got the bad tournament out of the way last week, yeah. right? So now you can just focus on playing good golf next yeah. week. Yeah. Okay, Victor, again, congratulations on your victory and continued success. Thank, Thank you for you. being with us.